Hey guys, it's Queen Nija, and in today's video, I will be reacting to reading to episode 2 of the Aquatrope on White Sands. Let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. I want a scooter still. I know I said that last week, but <laughs> week two, want a scooter. <laughs> Oh, oh, okay. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, yeah. A lot of jobs are pretty tough. Got you. Because it is a family, you know, aquarium. So, of course, close that. See, something tells me that they're going to find out the fact is that Fuka was an idol and such and that she hasn't gone home, technically. I mean, in a way, she's run away from home. Say your mom again.
Holy. Um, Cuckoo, I don't think you can get all that money yet. Where are you going to get it? But how can you be so sure about that, hun? Well, you're going to need help. Yeah, it didn't have to be, but it was. <laughs> well, you don't have to if you don't want to, Fuka. I wonder why. I mean, because it seems like, seems kind of cool. He's kind of shy into himself, but that's okay. I mean, most guys are like that as well. Oh. Oh, Nails are so pretty. Oh, 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 okay. Medicine? Write it on it. Ah, smart. Yeah, that is all nothing but cocoa, though, straight up. <laughs> Oh. 
Oh, dang. They fighting over the fish. Well, no one said your first day would be perfect. Uh. No, no, it's okay. Accidents happen, Fuka. Don't worry, if you'll play. I'll work with the animals again. It just takes time. No, babe. I'm guessing these are the people who want to buy the aquarium. Yeah. I mean, Cuckoo has to worry about a lot of things, especially with the fact is that a lot of other people want to come and buy this place. Of course. She doesn't want your money, though. Well, we're about to hear this for 20-something episodes. Yeah, 
because us as kids, it will well, wine, but kids in general, they are going to be very hard and be on you. But like, no, not taking no for an answer. Nice job. Well, she is determined. Like that about her. Hmm? Is Udon the girl with the other blue hair? Who was um Cuckoo's uh I'm about to say co worker. Classmate <laughs> Ah, okay. So we'll still call her Udon. Seriously? junk hilarious <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. of course cotton's gonna have to tell you I hope it works I really do Coco <clears throat> Dang, I didn't think we were going to show that in episode two. Damn. Ah!
Mm. So if you didn't give up that job, damn. But you can still pursue it, though. Because you think your parents are going to be like, hey, come on home. Why haven't you been home yet? Of course. This is only episode two, and you can just see that Yuri like aspect of it. And once again, I mean, even though this is only episode two, we still really we we know what the main thing is about. It's about Cuckoo trying to not get this aquarium that she loves so much to close. But I felt like there still is something else. I mean, you know, we got a long way to go. This is going to be a two carat series. And such are technically really even one care, but technically it is too because it is. I think it's about like 20, 23 or 24 episodes from it and such. So we're going to learn a little bit more about the backstory. Was not expecting Fuka to come out and tell Cuckoo about her, you know, idol pass and such, but I still think by the end of this, Fuka will go back to Tokyo and want to truly work full time as an idol and eventually, you know get into a group and not get into a situation that she just was in which forced her to get fired and also slash quit her job <clears throat> but <laughs> even though <laughs> this week was the first week of her working at an aquarium e even though she didn't do the best she did the best of her abilities yes I, I can't even imagine working at an aquarium as someone who you know is about to possibly get an, uh, do an interview between this week and next week because I do have to call these people by next week even though they called me today. Um, I am scared. I think everyone is scared about when, you know, they're going into an interview and doing their first job. But um, I feel bad for her getting, like, <laughs> screwed by the penguins. Like, really bad, honestly. This poor baby kept getting pecked and bit by penguins. I mean, she tried the best of her abilities. And that's all really what a job wants you to do to do the best of your abilities if not try to strive above those abilities see if you can do like a little more challenging things and such to excel from the ability that you're currently have to a even greater ability in my opinion and such but I think she can really do this this is going to be her proving to not only maybe her friends her family but to herself and maybe even possibly the idol um the idol agency that she was essentially a part of to say like I can do this and I can be damn better than I was when I first started so I really do hope and pray that possibly by the end of this series she does go back and she's like let me try again and not let you down this time yes I let you down the first time but just because I let you down the first time doesn't mean I'm gonna let you down again I'm going to work twice as hard or even three times as harder to get into a unit and to officially you know What is the word? Oh my god. Um, damn it, I can't think of the word. <laughs> Not advance, more of... Um, not audition. No. I can't think of the fucking word. <laughs> I know the word, but I can't think of it. Oh my god. It, it's more... Um, Still, okay, start, basically, start becoming this big grand idol that she wants to be. But yeah, I think the rest of the characters are just funny as heck. I, I like Udon. 
Um, like I said, Fuka is like really best girl. Um, Cuckoo, since that is Kokoro from Bandari and then Miku from the Quintessential Quintuplets, she seems very much like second best girl. I do like the relationship between her and Fuka. I think they're really just adorable and I would love to see a little cute more moments with them and I think we're going to get that a lot but other than that guys that is my reaction view towards episode two of the aqua trope on white sand if you guys enjoyed it please give me a like it really helps me out also subscribe to my channel I make videos every single day join the master squad and of course I will see you guys officially all next Thursday for episode three bye guys